I think uh, the thing that we need to remember about lean is uh, come from the Toyota production system. They've been doing this for 50 to 70 years, so they've been on a very, very long journey. I think in healthcare now we're beginning to see the uh, translation of those key five principles, understanding customer value, which we're doing a lot of work around value creation and understanding patients, carers and other stakeholders in the, in the health service, so we're seeing a lot of work around that. Value stream, first of all perhaps understanding patient pathways and how we can actually improve that, actually removing waste and, and making them flow more uh, appropriately for the patient and also becoming much more patient centred. Also outside the value stream is actually extending that further to patients across organisations, so thinking about the interfaces between primary and secondary care, so bringing in some of our learning also around supply chain management, so actually going beyond probably some of what the key principles of Lean. Um, thinking also about um, empowerment of people, so we're thinking about um, working with people at the coalface of the service and the actual changes that they can actually make, um, again to improve it for the patient but also improve it for staff and also improve it for the organisation as a whole. And I guess also moving towards perfection, you know, so this idea of continuous improvement. So looking at some of the continuous improvement cycles around PDSA cycles, which people in healthcare now are very, very familiar with, but obviously go back to the very early kind of Deming cycles and quality improvement. So we're seeing a lot of the tools and techniques that, um, that we've used in industry and translating them and adapting them, adopting them to, to what we can use in healthcare and understanding the context in the way that we use it. But I think we also need to be mindful that perhaps we can take the learning the other way in terms of the complexity of healthcare and what we're having to deal with and how perhaps other organisations can learn from how we're probably managing what we would call mass customisation in terms of the complexity we have to deal with.